Hello everyone. Good evening. My name is Mary. Uh, I just there was something very interesting I discovered about Humanic, and by now, if you a few people would have known that I am a real fan of Humanic. And apart from my being a fan of Humanic, I am also an investor in the Humanic project because the Humanic project is a project that I believe so much in and I have faith in the project and I would like the project to succeed. So what is new about Humanic? Humanic's market capitalization crossed 10 million. That was what I discovered this evening. And I wrote a blog post about it and I will leave the link to the blog post in the description below now uh, i also a couple of hours later actually about six hours later i discovered something interesting about the price movement and that was when i visited coinmarketcap.com you see i discovered that the price had moved up from six cents to eleven cents so this is really interesting and this is uh, phenomenal as far as I'm concerned and when I went to bitrex.com to actually take a good look at the at the candlesticks I discovered that the one day price movement for humanic that humanic finds support that it finds support at about this very place which is uh, five cents which corresponds with about five cents if you multiply you know if you multiply the the price here point zero 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 two six BTC with the current uh, price of BTC which is 1972 that will give about about five cents so it finds actually support at this particular uh, point and then resistance at this point so even if there is going to be a pullback you know in the price uh, except something really serious happens um, I think it will hover at about this price so even even if the price drops you know to about seven cents um, some investors might want to also get more you know get more tokens at that point because after the pullback, uh, there is going to be another another rise in price, you know, like it usually is the wave movement. So um, looking at some of the things, you know, because there are certain things going for humanic now, and I also put a link, you know, to the video about humanic. They usually release weekly videos in their YouTube channel. So I, I I linked that video with, with, with the post about Humanic that I put up. But there is uh, and there is something interesting, you know, about Humanic. After the close of the ICO on the 26th of April 2006, following the timeline of Humanic, you know, from their from their white paper on page 17 of their white paper, you will find out that in the next three months, that is this month april next month and the month following which is july there will be a product launch of the mobile application and i can't honestly i can't wait to to see how the final product of that mobile app will look like because the the mobile app you know promises promises um a facial identification you know proof of face as they call it pof whereby they will be able to identify the unbanked people with biometric ID, you know, coupled with this, um, but this, this biometric ID is a special type of ID, not, not with fingerprints, but with facial, um, how, how do I put it now, you know, that they capture your face, and then with your face, they will be able to, with different facial expressions, you know, they, they will now be able to identify identify um, the, the person the owner of that particular humanic uh, uh, account so that is actually how they, they plan to go about that for me that is really interesting and we will see how that is going to is going to work out in the in the months ahead now there is already an alpha version 
that is out if you go to your your play app store and type humanic you will be able to download the app and that is the alpha version of the app and and try it out for yourself you know and probably give a feedback regarding regarding it so that is just what i wanted to talk about regarding humanic for me humanic is quite an interesting project and humanic is banking for the unbanked mobile bank for the unbanked for the two billion people who are unbanked and i see it as a humanitarian project and I, I i want to believe that that project will succeed that is the reason why i throw my weight behind the project and every kind of support that i can give for that project to succeed i will give so thank you very much for listening and please leave me your comments in the in the comment section below and let me know what you think about the humanic blockchain project thank you very much and goodbye for now bye